Krita doesn't really have a good tool to export lots of assets in batches in a flexible fashion. Well, until now. The GDQuest art tools are available right now to test in alpha, although it works already. So Razvan has been working on a system that allows you to batch export lots of sprites. Whether you want to animate a cutout character in Blender or Synfig, or you want to create a game, or you want to export assets for a website for graphic design, you can have them all in one document and export them really quickly this way. So look at my desktop folder where I have the Krita file right now. I'm going to select all of my layers. And when I click on export selected layers, I'm going to have a small indication that the layers were all exported. Going back to the desktop, I now have an export folder where you will find a battle subfolder, a map one, which you should find the characters. They are still exporting, I think, or Nautilus is still working on them. So uh, you can see a few interesting things. You not only have all the sprites, but you also have, for example, two versions of my map sprites. And one is small, the other one is big. So this is part of the things that you can do with our plugin. If you've worked with Photoshop and you've tried Adobe Generator, this is very similar in the, the way it works. Our version is a little simpler to use, I think, and it does have a slightly different feature set. So in my layers, the two ponds, I have some metadata and this metadata indicates the sizes at which I want to export the sprites. So if I have 25 and 100, it's going to export two versions at 25% and 100% of the layer size. On top of that, when I've selected all my layers and clicked on select, export selected layers, it exported all of them using my document structure as my folder tree and structure on the file system. One thing that's important, so it's going to use the groups to represent folders here. So that's one way to quickly export any number of layers. You just select anything on the tree. You can export the selected layers. You can add some metadata. We'll see what you can add in a second, but on any document, anytime, you can export in the export folder next to your Krita document. So this is very quick. Then you can add and remove metadata very easily with our smart renaming tool. All the metadata works with the format you have a letter, equals, and then you have some options. So for example, let's say that I want to export my battle composition. So I'm going to move the characters a little bit here and have Godet and Ruby on the side and the porcupine on the left here. I want to export my battle to a JPEG file for social networks. So I can go to my update layer meta name field and I'm going to type E equals JPEG then the D letters underlined under the update button. So I can press Alt D to quickly rename the layer. And you can see it smartly inserts a space after battle and it's going to add extension equals JPEG. Now if I export the selected layers and go back to my folder, there's a new battle S100, so 100% scale uh, .jpeg file that's been exported. So you can do that to if I delete these files, you can go here and you could say, I don't want the export to be just JPEG, but JPEG and PNG, Alt-D to update. And then you're going to get two versions of the file. So when I press export selected layer, it's going to create the two files, one JPEG version that might be optimized, for example, for social networks. And the other one is going to be PNG. So it's going to be a little heavier, but it's going to have all the original pixel information. You can just use your groups as a folder to export to, but you can also use it as a composition that you're going to export separately from the individual sprites. On top of that, you have an export all layers option. And this one is going to only export the layers that have this extension here. So I'm going to remove it from the battle group because I don't want to export that one. So I can press E equals. If I don't put any options, the rename tool will remove the corresponding meta tag and say that. So I want to export all my layers to PNG. So I'm going to type E equals PNG. 
and I update. So all the layers that have this extension parameter, when I click export all layers, they will be exported. So now I would have to delete the files here to show you that they get rebuilt every time they get re-exported. One thing we can do is select, for example, Roby. I'm going to paint your face in blue. Sorry, buddy. Export all layers. And if I go back, you can see that my Ruby has a blue face. You can do a little more than that. You can export to custom paths if you don't want to use the folder structure or you want more flexibility. So I could say, so there's the P option for that. P equals, let's just say, I just want to export to folders next to the creator file. I want one folder for communication and one folder for the game assets. So I'm going to go to assets slash battle for this one. And for the two others, I'm gonna to go to assets slash map. And for the two compositions here, I'm gonna to go to communication. I want to export to different folders. Update. Now I can add also the extension e equals PNG for this one. And if I press export all layers and go back to my desktop, you will see new folders appear on the desktop. If I open communication, it's going to have the two layers that I just exported, so the two compositions, and my game assets will have the battle and map folders. These tools are free and open source. You can find the tool on GitHub. There's some documentation. If you go in the GD Quest Art Tools folder, I'm going to update the README to show the docs and I'm working on the documentation. Like Razvan wrote it. I'm just going to pimp it up a little bit. Please hit the star button on GitHub. It helps more people find out about the work that we do from within the platform. If you want to contribute, if you want to participate to the project, you can help with UX feedback, with UX design work. You can report bugs. That would be more than welcome. So for that, you can go to the issues tab on GitHub. Or you can join us on the Discord server, link in the description. There's a channel dedicated to the Krita designer tool. I'm, I'm going to rename that. On top of that, if you want to support our work, we have a Kickstarter running right now for people who want to learn game development. And the tools that we make, everything that we make, and especially the free content, is only possible thanks to the money that we get from the course, from our Kickstarters. So whether you want to improve your game development skills or you want us to keep contributing to free software, these campaigns, uh, crowdfunding or getting one of our courses, something like that is the best way to keep us going. We have Krita brushes as well. So these tools, we're looking to contribute them to Krita to ship them with the program if the developers so desire as a tool that anyone can use out of the box. Know that there are a few limitations that come from Krita itself. For example, if I recall correctly, you can use file layers here, so you can embed other Krita documents in there, but you cannot scale them from the tool, and that's a limitation that comes from Krita. There are a few things like these that we could not implement just yet, so maybe in the future, because we'd really like to support a fully non-destructive, very flexible workflow. This project also leads to contributions and improvements to Krita itself, as Razvan has been contributing some improvements to the Python API and the layer stack as well, and we're looking to do more moving forward. So go get the tool now, links in the description. And that said, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.